I reviewed 18 mid to high end minis in 2023, and I'm ready to let you know which are my top five. While the budget end is dominated by mini PCs with Intel CPUs, the upper end is all AMD thanks to power efficiency, improvements in CPU performance, and lapping Intel on the integrated graphics front, especially with their new processors. In these top five videos, I only recommend products I've actually tested myself. And if you've seen one of my reviews, you know they're pretty comprehensive covering price, performance, fan noise, temps, and more. If I find an issue, I point it out. There's no hiding the uncomfortable truths here. And as with my recent top five minis under 250 US dollars video, I'm taking the Amazon US pricing into account in my decision making, which has shaken up the chart a lot. Be aware the pricing changes often, as do the coupons from the sellers on the Amazon listings. So do a quick search to find the best deal for you. All five winners will have their review and product pages linked in the video description. And I would appreciate if you use my links while purchasing to support my ongoing efforts to review mini PCs, which takes a lot of time to do. All right, it's almost time for the countdown. But before we get to it, the EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard app is very simple to use and can help you recover your lost data, whether it's on your internal drive, USB storage, or SD card. It also has support for repairing damaged photos and videos. Check out the free trial in the video description to find out what it can recover on your storage drives. Coming in at number 5 is actually the top pick from last year's list. It's also the cheapest mini in this lineup and what I'd call the value option. The B-Link Sur 5 Ryzen 5560U can be had for just 260 US dollars. For that, you get 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. The Sur 5 still holds up today for a bunch of reasons. While it's no speed demon compared to the high-end and more expensive minis now available, the 6-core processor in this box should still fit plenty of usage cases and is plenty of powerful for the office and some light gaming or emulation workloads. The Sur 5 has some basic cooling for the included NVMe drive, a 2.5 inch SATA storage expansion bay, and a decent set of ports. Build quality is fine for the price. One difference since last year is that one of the dual HDMI ports has been changed for a display port, which is a positive in my book. But while all that is great, what really makes this a mini PC that stands out from the crowd is that it's super quiet compared to most and it draws very little electricity with a peak power draw of just 50 watts. If you don't need a speed demon and you want something decently powerful, cheap and quiet, then the B-Link Sur 5 5560U may just be what you're looking for. B-Link Sur 5 Max Mini PC is a good performer pushing the previous generation Ryzen 5800H to the limit. If you need more CPU and graphics power, but don't want to completely empty your wallet, the Sur 5 Max can be all yours for $300 US. That includes 16GB of memory and a 500GB NVMe SSD. For an extra $20, you can double your storage. The SSD is cooled by an extra fan, and you can install a 2.5 inch SATA drive if you want even more storage. Build quality is fine, but I would have liked to see a metal case on this one. The plastic build is at least solid. Overall CPU performance is nice, but it doesn't come free. This one draws as much power as the new generation high-end minis, but doesn't have the graphics power to match. And while it holds up well in multi-core CPU performance, fan noise under load is up as well. For the dollars though, you get yesteryear's high-end 8-core AMD CPU running better than what most minis with this processor can handle. It's a solid option that doesn't break the bank, and that's why the Beeling Sur 5 Max comes in at number 4. AMD's terribly named Ryzen 7 7735HS CPU is a real bang for buck wonder if you want high performance computing on a mini PC. The included RDNA 2 Radeon 680M integrated graphics have pushed what's possible much further and left Intel in the dust. The 7735HS is still an 8 core CPU, but faster than the 5000 series across the board. And so, we have a good value option with a GMK Tech K2 Mini PC with this exact processor at $400 US. 
It comes with 16 gigabytes of dual channel DDR5 memory after I suggested the change in my review. And it also comes with a 512 gigabyte NVMe drive. You can double both memory and storage for an extra $80. The case is made out of metal except the top and bottom which are plastic and there's a replaceable top lid if you prefer red. It's easy access to the memory and storage just by popping the lid off. The K2 features a USB 4 port allowing you to connect an eGPU or other devices needing 40 gigabits per second bandwidth. 2.5 gigabit LAN and Wi-Fi 6E handle networking. Unfortunately, there's no SSD cooling on this one and it's not the fastest performing 7735HS due to a lower power limit. But I didn't encounter any graphics performance issues like I have with other models including the Mini's Forum UM773 Lite. The integrated graphics are powerful enough that you can play esports titles with high frame rates and even AAA games at 1080p low with good results. Add AMD's FSR 2.0 upscaler for even better frame rates. Noise levels aren't too bad either, even at the higher power limit. It's actually quieter than the Sur 5 Max under load. Overall, I was pretty happy with the GMK Tech Knuckbox K2, and at $400, it's one of the lower priced 7735HS minis around. So that's why it takes the number 3 spot. B-Link Sur 7 is the overall fastest mini PC I tested all year. It's a monster featuring the Ryzen 7840HS CPU with a price to match at $629 US dollars. If you want the best performing mini PC that's around 4x4 inches, then this is it. A 1TB NVMe drive is bundled with 32GB of 5600DDR5 memory for the fastest integrated graphics you'll experience, thanks to AMD's latest RDNA 3 Radeon 7080M. Depending on the game, you can see gains of up to 20% in frame rate over the Radeon 680M graphics found in the 7735HS. This 8-core CPU also sees a nice bump up in single-core performance, getting closer to Intel CPUs, and the Sur 7 pushes the multi-core performance to new heights. It's a beautiful looking premium metal box that puts other minis to shame in looks, design, and build quality. The port selection is also unbeat with dual USB 4 ports and a heap of other I.O. Apart from the extra cooling fan inside, there's a second M.2 NVMe slot for storage expansion. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the new magnetic power plug, and sure, fan noise could always be lower. But the performance and the Sur 7 Mini itself is top notch and is definitely a case of you get what you pay for. And that's why the Beeling Sur 7 Mini PC gets the number 2 spot. Number 1 goes to... Another B-Link Mini PC! No prize if you guess that one! What can I say? They have some fine minis, and the B-Link Sur 6 Max takes the crown because you can get it for as low as $489 for the 32GB RAM, 500GB storage model. That's a nice price for what you get. The Sur 6 Max is almost identical to the Sur 7 in design. It has the same great metal case, ports, cooling, extra M.2 NVMe slot, magnetic power plug that I didn't like, and is the best performing Ryzen 7735HS Mini I tested. While it can be up to 20% slower in some games, performance is often closer to the Sur 7 and depends on the workload. However, you're also getting a nice chunk taken off the price tag. So if you want to save some cash, or don't need the fastest, then the B-Link Sur 6 Max is the premium value option and my favourite pick for 2023. Congratulations to the winners! A clean sweep for AMD and almost for B-Link, which is a surprise. But did you look at all these minis and think, yeah, they're cool, but it's much more performance than I need? Well, then you should definitely check out my top 5 mini PCs for under $250, US which are great for web browsing, 4K video playback, and even handle emulation duties pretty well. There are some real bangers there for as little as $150. Cheers.